Magandang araw mga Alsmate and welcome to my YouTube channel. Ngayong araw pag-aaralan natin ang addition and subtractions of similar fractions. Kaya kung gusto mo itong matunan, just keep on watching. Let us add 2919 and 59. Mula sa ating mga nakarang na pag-aaralan, kapag ang fractions ay mayroong magkakaparehas na bilang ng denominator, ito ay mga similar fractions. In addition and subtraction of fractions, laging tandaan na ang mga fraction ay maaari lamang dagdagan o bawasan kung ang mga ito ay mga magkakatulad na fraction. In adding similar fractions, i-add lang natin ang numerator ng mga fractions, then retain the denominator, and reduce the answer in its lowest term if it is necessary. So, 2 plus 1 plus 5 is equals to 8. And just copy the denominator. Now, the sum of fractions is 8, 9. At dahil ang 8, 9 ay hindi na natin maaaring i-lowest term, therefore, 8, 9 is our final answer. Another example. Let us add 3, 8 plus 1, 8. Again, in adding similar fractions, Just add the numerator and copy the denominator. So, 3 plus 1 is equals to 4. Then, copy the denominator. Now, the sum of fractions is 4, 8. Ang 4, 8 ay pwede pa nating mabago sa pinakamababang term or lowest term sapagkat kapwa ang numerator at denominator ay divisible or pwedeng hatiin equally sa 4. At ngayong 1 half ang lowest term ng 4 8, therefore, 1 half is our final answer. Another example, let us add 10 8 plus 7 8. Again, add the numerator and just copy the denominator. So, 10 plus 7 is equals to 17. Then, copy the denominator. Now, The sum of fractions is 17-8. Isa sa laging tandaan, kapag ang sagot nating nakuha ay improper fraction, always change the improper fraction to mixed fraction and simplify to its lowest term kung kinakailangan. Base sa ating mga nakarang na pag-aralan, to change improper fraction to mixed fraction, divide lang natin ang numerator by the denominator. Now, we have 2 and 1 eighth. Since ang fraction part natin ay nasa lowest term na, 2 and 1 eighth is our final answer. Ngayon naman, let us subtract 5 11 from 9 11. Subtraction of fractions is the same steps and procedure in addition of fractions. So, subtract lang natin ang numerator ng mga fractions, then retain the denominator, and reduce the answer to its lowest term kung kinakailangan. So, 9 minus 5 is equals to 4. And just copy the denominator. The difference of fractions is 4-11. At dahil ang 4-11 ay hindi na natin pa pwedeng i-lowest term, our final answer is 4-11. Another example. Let us subtract 4-9 from 7-9. Again, To find the difference of similar fractions, isusubtract lang natin ang numerator ng mga fractions, then copy the denominator. So, 7 minus 4 is equals to 3. Then, copy the denominator. The difference of fractions is 3, 9. Ang 3, 9 ay maaari pa nating i-reduce in lowest term sapagkat kapwa numerator at denominator ay divisible or pwedeng hatiin equally sa 3. Okay, the lowest term of 3, 9 is 1 third. Sa makatuwid, 1 third ang ating final answer. Another example, subtract 3, 7 from 11, 7. Again, in subtraction of similar fractions, isusubtract lang natin ang numerator ng mga fractions, then copy the denominator. 11 minus 3 is equals to 8, then copy the denominator. Dahil improper fractions ang nakuha nating sagot, kailangan natin itong i-change to mixed fractions and reduce to its lowest term if it is necessary. Ok, 
okay? We get 1 and 1 7. Since ang fraction part natin ay nasa lowest term na, 1 and 1 7 is our final answer. Ngayong alam nyo na ang addition and subtraction of similar fraction, oras na ng inyong pagsasanay. Mag-iiwan ako ng limang katanungan at sikaping masagutan. At kung may natutunan ka naman sa video kong ito, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell para magkita pa tayo sa mga susunod kong video. Hanggang dito na lang, maraming salamat!